Hello, here we are going to talk about the classes. We are going to deliver the second lecture of uh, data structure and we will review the, the concept of classes. So classes are used to, uh, to organize the, the, the functions and, uh, uh, and objects. So how the classes are, uh, are defined that we use the keyword class and then uh, we make some uh, user defined name for the class. For example, uh, we can say the company um, or we can say the car uh, as a class or we can define a person as a, as a class name. So then it comes the uh, some variables, maybe the public or the private and uh, <clears throat> data members and uh, variables are used. Then there are some member functions that are associated with the class. So here we are going to give an example that we are going to make a, a, a person as a class and then associate some of methods uh, to it. Uh, this is the class and the name of class is person. And then we define a count to count the number of person that how many uh, persons are in this class. And then it is the uh, init method, constructor or init method initialization. Uh, and the first argument, this is a, a, a convention that the first argument of a, a constructor or init method is uh, the, the, uh, the self or the, the class uh, name. So and by default or uh, as a convention we use as a self and then we use the uh, other names or the variables for, the, uh, for, for, for this instance. So then we define, this is the self dot name, person dot name and person dot date of birth, person dot address. And then it is the count uh, variable to count the number of persons. So then the second method in our class is in this class is the get name to get the name of the instance or get the name of the person and here again, uh, the, 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 the first argument is self or the, um, the name of the class. Or, and then it is the second method, which is the uh, get DOB date of birth. And the, again, the argument of this class is the first argument of this class is the self. Similarly, likewise, there is the another uh, method, which is the get address and the name of uh, and the first argument is self and to get the uh, and then it comes the some other uh, uh, methods which are uh, the methods and functions are interchangeable uh, in the context of uh, python or the or the or the classes uh, so then the next method is the uh, the the set name to give the name so what we need that to set the name, we need the uh, instance as a self and the new name that we want to give. So self.name is equal to name. And similarly to set the date of birth of this instance or person, what it is, it needs to do that uh, self.date of birth is date of birth. Similarly, uh, for the method set address, uh, the statement is self.address is equal to address. Then it comes the get count to count the number of person, how many people are in the class. So the, there needs only one uh, argument that is uh, the self and the uh, return value is person dot count. So then we define another method, it, str. The objective of this method is to return the string representation of object of type person and uh, with, this is a string representation of the objects of this class. So here it returns the string representation. <laughs> so classes and class constructor, the init method is used to initialize the data for instance of class being constructed and is called the class constructor. Init method is used to initialize the data for the instance of a class being constructed and is called class constructor. So this init method in at the first is the class constructor. Init method is the class constructor. And the init method is called automatically when an object of class is created. Whenever we create an object of a class, the init method is automatically initiated or called. Uh, the following instruction creates an object 
name P1. So P1 is equal to person uh, Amir. This is the name of the of the instance or person, date of birth of instance or person, and the address of instance or person. So whenever we will use, we will create an object of this class. P1 is called as an object of a class. It will call the class person this class person and then the name will come to the name date of birth will come to the date of birth the second argument come to the date of birth and third argument will come towards the address the first argument is the name of the class name of the object object of the class the second one is the um, is the name of the class that is Amir. third one is his date of birth and the last one is the address of the class, address of, uh, of the person. So the execution of above statement does three things, creates an instance of a class person, creates an instance of a class person, initializes it by invoking the init method defined in the lines, returns a reference to it. So the name P1 refers to the address of the class person that has just been created. So the person, the P2, the person now we are going to define the second person P2 and uh, his name is his or her name is Rhea and date of birth 1992 and this is the address. So the data members and methods associated. So this will again call the, uh, uh, the class person and uh, the first argument will be the class, uh, the object of the class P2. Second argument will be the first argument will be the name of the person. Second will be the date of birth. And third, sorry, the first will be the, uh, the self or the instance or the object. And that is self. Second one will be the name. Third one will be the date of birth. And the last one will be the address. The data members and methods associated with an instance of a class are called the attributes of a class. The data members or methods associated with an instance of a class, they are called as attribute of the object. Uh, the set of attributes that are associated with an object form its namespace. The, the data members of object P1 are referred to as P1.name. The data members uh, P1.name uh, is the name that is the uh, Amir. And the P1 dot date of birth is the date of birth, this one, 1994. P1 dot address is the address of instance one. Likewise, uh, P1 dot get name to get the name of first instance, to get the date of birth of first instance, to get the, uh, the, uh, get the address of first instance, etc. So here is the example that uh, this is our uh, uh, person class and it has the attributes, it has the methods or functions um, as an init and uh, str, uh, get address, count, get count, get date of birth, get name, set address, set date of birth and set methods. These are the uh, functions or the methods of a class and this is the uh, another uh, an, an object of the class. So then it comes the instances of a class, the instance one, that is person one, the instance two, the person two. So they are stored in the in some memory over here. So this is the person, this is the class and P1, the, the class, uh, uh, class as a person, this is the P1, the first instance of the class and this is the second instance of the class. So whenever init method is used, uh, the first time when the init P, uh, uh, when first time when the init method is used, it is used for the uh, first um, uh, instance, and second time it is used when method is used for the second instance. Instantiation it refers to the creation of an object that is an instance of a class. Attribute reference methods and data members of an object of a class are accessed using the notation name of object followed by a dot operator use the built-in method str uh, method is used to and get the uh, um, uh, to, 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 to get the 
uh, the the, uh, the of accessed uh, get name. This is a method of it now. So p1 dot str is a method, and we can uh, write it uh, when we use the command print. Then it print it like this way. Or print command executes the uh, str uh, structure method, string method actually, not structure, string method uh, to represent the object in the form of a string. So this method is used to represent the object in the form of a string. So p1 dot print p1, so it is printing the p1. Modifying the same field of attribute, modifying the date of birth of a person. Now what we are going to do is we are going to modify the date of birth of a person. So p1 dot get date of birth, p1 dot set date of birth and print p1. So now it is, if before the date of birth was 1994 for the person, then it has been changed to 1991. So get date of birth, uh, is to get the date of birth or print to, is to see the date of birth and set date of birth is to change or set the date of birth. Destructor, the number of persons object reduces by one on execution of the destructor. Why we use the destructor to uh, when we are going to reduce the number of objects. So this is uh, uh, used to uh, reduce the number of uh, this is the same class and here we are what we are going to do a we are going to run a, an other method that is the destructor that is uh, uh, written as a del delete uh, invoke a deletion of an instance of a class person and it decrements the number of uh, counts of a person or instances in the class so first we in, we initiate the instance one the p1 the person one and then we initiate the p2 the person p2 and then we uh, here we assign the p2 to p3 p3 is equal to p2 we assign the uh, the instance two to a new object p3 we print the count function and count says there are two percent because the class uh, has been uh, initialized has been instantiated two times so therefore the the count is two means that there are two person in the class. Then we delete P1. So the, the person P1 is deleted and then we are going to print P1 and it shows an error because P1 has been just deleted. Uh, then we print the count and count says one because initially there was two persons. Now it has been one has been deleted and one is remaining only. Then we delete the person P2 and we still count the, the person and uh, we see that it is one. Why it is one? Because uh, person P2 was associated, uh, the, the object P2 was associated to another object P3 over here. And therefore uh, what it is going to do that still there remains the, uh, the, uh, the, the instance P2 uh, as well. So then we delete the P3 and P3 is deleted, then we print the count. And now the count has been uh, reduced down to zero. The execution of instruction del P1 invokes the delete method defined in the class person. And the object P1 get deleted. Person count get decremented by one. And the message deleted is printed. However, the instruction P2 does not delete the object, does not delete the object P2 as the same uh, p3 still refers to it because p3 refers to it so uh, so p2 is not deleted completely it only disassociates the name p2 from the object what it does it disassociates the object p2 from the class so this was about the review of the class uh, there is a very nice tutorial by Corey Schaeffer. you can also refer that uh, i will share the link of that uh, to review the classes in, in, in Python. Thank you very much. Thank you.